have to run. Rapido. Rapido, rapido. Dallas, I'm all that back and forth over the net. My mama wish I would have went corporate. She wish I would have went exact. Yo, so the lifestyle she respect. Hey, two sprinters to Quebec. Chevy, who am on back? I woke up in Mexico. So nice here. I was freezing in Toronto just yesterday, but today there's a beach, there's a pool, there's sun, unlimited drinks, there's tan, unlimited food. So yeah, get ready with me for tonight's dinner. Um, I actually got here yesterday. We were actually exhausted after traveling all day. So we just, you know, got settled in our hotel, had a couple drinks, chilled at the hot tub, and today is a new day. I'm about to get ready for kind of a lunch slash dinner thing. Yeah, I'm naked and what? I'm kind of upset at the weather here. I'm in Playa del Carmen. It's raining yesterday and then today it's just not um, as sunny as I wanted it to be but I mean like anything is better than negative five winter weather in Toronto so I'm gonna shut up and stop complaining. I'm about to shower and get ready for dinner. Shout out to Dermalogica for sending these travel size pre-cleanse. I have the sunscreen, daily microfoliant, and I pack this all in my carry-on. Game changer, truly. I just got off the phone with my friend who's here and why did they say the hotel doesn't know where her luggage is? Because we have to switch rooms. It was complicated AF but she just called me saying they don't know where my luggage is so what is going on but anyways we have to get ready the first couple of days was kind of weird we couldn't even like settle down in our room the first day because we were switching rooms the next day before i continue on with this vlog i just quickly want to say that this resort had so many red flags that we ignored in the beginning but it turned out that it was actually one of the most horrible experiences that i've ever had in mexico i will get into it in part two of the vlog everything was pretty easy going up until this point i guess yeah like everything will start to make sense in part two of the vlog so just stay tuned i'll upload that in a couple days promise so today i think i'm just gonna vlog us going to dinner and what this place has because they have really good food reviews but so far the food hasn't been that great so i'm just like where is all this hype and this rah-rah that everyone was talking about the food was good here we booked a restaurant that they have here and we're gonna try that out tonight and tomorrow we're going on a taco tour it's not an actual taco tour it's just like we have a list of taco places that we want to hit up i'm gonna call it the taco tour because it's essentially a taco tour what usually happens when i'm on vacation so i overpack and i end up just wearing the same like four outfits over and over again but i have my like photo outfits like the ones that i want to get pictures in the ones that i wear at the resort those are just in rotation because what are you really wearing at the resort you just go swimming and stuff so they did change the room on us but now we have a way better view like we're higher up we're at the penthouse now so it's so nice i feel like falling in love I want to show you guys my outfit before I leave. By the way, this hair looks so good. I don't know if it's like the chlorine in the pool that's affecting this hair, but it looks so poofy. Like I wanted a big curly look and that's that's how it looks right now. So I cut some layers into it so it looks more natural, you know. Everything is from Shein. This tube top is so cute. These, the skirt is from Shein. We're off to dinner so i want to show you guys the outside that is our neighbor resort it's secrets i believe it's so nice but wait guys there's more because in person it's truly so breathtaking me and this in the background wow this is crazy i don't want to come back home that's my issue like i might just extend my trip i guess because it's like peak winter in toronto it's freezing it's like negative five degrees we left at the coldest time this is the coldest week in toronto look just like the scenery is so pretty here i just don't want to leave i want to stay here forever this is a really well-rated um restaurant so hopefully it lives up to the hype i'm working on my tan Lemon drop, yeah. Um, I'll get a lemon drop. But to, can I do it with tequila? Instead? Can we order appetizers too? Are you ready? Yes. Gallic style octopus. Okay. The spinach and mushroom cannelloni. And then can we do Caesar salad as well? Okay. Uh, that's it for now, and then we're okay. gonna order more. Okay. Okay. 
That's a shot of tequila, guys. And put this cup beside it. That's a regular, that's a regular size cup. And this waiter brought over that shot of tequila. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my god, it looks so nice. I probably need some of that before I even eat mine. I'm trying to leave this box in my box. So good. Yeah, it's like very whatever. And it's not medium rare, it's fully cooked. Today is gonna be a little taco tour, I'm trying to find the best tacos. I don't think we're staying in Playa del Carmen. I think we're going back to Cancun. I think the tacos are better in Cancun, um, just from like online reviews and YouTube videos that we've seen, like the taco places are usually in Cancun. So we're going there. We're gonna rent a car for a day. So we're gonna be driving around. I hope everything goes smoothly. And then later tonight, we're gonna come back to the hotel, maybe get a little bit of rest and then dress up again because we're going out for a birthday dinner. We don't know where exactly, but it's gonna be somewhere nice somewhere fancy and y'all already know I need a steak I need a steak so tomorrow and the day after that will be like full resort days maybe we'll squeeze in one excursion but I really just want to soak up the Sun and try to get a tan because I'm not tanned at all anyways whatever it's still beautiful here I mean anything is better than Toronto anything is better than th do I have an ocean view in Toronto no so let me just shut up but yeah I just want a tan but yeah it is officially day three in Mexico. So like I told you a little bit earlier, as you can see, I got dressed. We're on the way to pick up the car. We're gonna roam around Playa del Carmen and then we're going to head over to Cancun to go on our unofficial taco tour. Y'all know me, I love me a good authentic Mexican taco like carnitas, all of that. So we're going there, we might even go back to I don't know if you watched my last Mexico vlog, but there was this place called Don Enrico's Carnitas and we might go back there. That restaurant had great tacos. Yeah, I'm going to Selena's room right now. Buenos dias! Buenos dias! Señoritas! Hola! Should I wearing a dress? Yeah. Guys, we're not doing excursions today. So what's up? what are we doing? We're, today? we're going on the taco tour. We got our car guys, 56 more minutes. And you already know where the first destination is. Carnitas Don Enrique. No, se Let's eat, guys. Look how much tortillas they give you. Enriquez is a family owned business. I was there 2021 and I vlogged this place too. Um, the owner, the hospitality there is so nice. He kept giving Paul food and he also gave him a little gift. Like, <laughs> he, gave, he gave him like a little wallet. 
That is so cute. But yeah, they're always so sweet. We make sure to go back there. Where to now? What's going on now? Yeah, what's what's there to do in Cancun? Now? Should we go to a beach? Beach? Let's go get away. Oh my god, this water is fucking crazy. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. I'm my bitch is Spanish body Water on my baby diamond hair with her reefer. From overseas, I had to buy her a new visa. Bet your wife in Vegas, but I hit her in a visa. She a supermodel, so she only eats Caesar. Used to date a rapper, but he acted like a diva. Niggas hustling backwards, I here balling with the Ria. How to add a roll, I feel like I could lift a tree up. Seen too many cameras, so I never lift my ski up. I jump on your song and make you sound like you the feature. I jump on your song and make a label think they need ya. For real. So we are on the way to Bolvino. We're going out for a little birthday dinner. It's a really good Brazilian steakhouse. Kind of like if you're from Toronto, Copacabana, Rodeo. Yeah, we'll see. It's gonna be a good time. Something like literally they killed in the back like five minutes ago. <laughs> 